Hi everybody, it's Michael here with another video on 3D printing. Today I'm going to be reviewing uh, a Rambo 1.1B assembled uh, 3D printer controller board from RepRap Electro. Rambo of course stands for um, uh, RepRap Arduino compatible motherboard and this was originally designed by Ulta Machine and this particular one that I have here is manufactured by RepRap Electro. I did do an unboxing video of this a little while ago and so you can see what, uh, what came in the box there. And we're going to be getting into it in a little more depth on this video. Okay, now we've got the Rambo out of the box and we can take a look at the design and how the board is laid out. Now the first thing that, uh, that I noticed, and I presume it's going to be the first thing you notice too, is that unlike the ramp system, which I would refer to as a modular system, the Rambo is actually what I would call a monolithic board design, which basically means that everything is on one board. There's no modularity to it the way there is for ramps. Uh, you've got all of your uh, stepper motor controllers. <coughs> are right here and they are in fact surface mounted to the board. Uh, you've got your end stop uh, sockets right here so you can run up to six end stops. You've got up to four thermistors that can be plugged in right here. Uh, and over here we have the, uh, uh, the power inputs and we have actually three rails on this one. So one thing that I find really cool about this is that we also have fuse protection for each of the rails. Right here I have a 15 amp automotive style fuse and here we have some smaller, I believe these are five amp fuses right here so there is lots of protection in the case of overcurrent. Uh, right here we have outputs for a heated bed for two heating elements, so that's either going to be a uh, heater cartridge or a heating resistor, and then two separate pulse width modulation controllable fans. So we've got a setup right here, we're right out of the box without adding anything, you can do full dual extrusion, uh, like I said, without, without having to do anything. Um, some people may have noticed that the, the version being sold by RepRap Electro currently is actually version 1.1b of the Rambo board. And if you go and look at the uh, Rambo wiki or you go to Ulta Machine, which is the original designer and uh, supplier of the board, you'll see that they're actually up to version 1.3. Now, does that matter? I'm going to say that for most people, probably not. Uh, what the differences are... And I think the one that's probably most relevant, uh, which is still not very relevant, is uh, this board right here is restricted to either 12 or 24 volts uh, power supply input. So if you have a really weird power supply that's you know 30 volts or something like that, you're not going to be able to use it with the 1.1B. The uh, 1.2 on uh, does allow for up to a 35 volt input power supply. Now I don't know where you would come across one of those, but if you do have something weird like that, then you are going to want to go with a with one of the later versions of the board. Uh, personally, I've used 12 and 24 volt power supplies, and those are going to be mostly your ATX type power supplies, which are going to pretty much be 12 volt, uh, or your LED uh, power supplies, which are generally going to be 12 or 24. But if you do have that weird one, again, you're going to have to move on to the newer board. Uh, the other thing that is different, starting with version 1.2, is that the USB port is isolated from the rest of the board. Now what that means is that, one, if you have something plugged into USB and you do get a power spike for whatever reason, uh, it is going to protect the board from being damaged. Now the flip side of that is that if you are trying for whatever reason to power the Rambo using USB, you're not going to be able to do it because it is isolated. Now of course you're not going to be running a printer and you know heating up your heated bed and your uh, and your hot ends and running stepper motors just based on the current that's coming through the USB port because it's not going to work but if you are just trying to get the uh, uh, get the board programmed and trying maybe you're doing a little bit of troubleshooting or just trying to get some firmware changed it might be nice to be able to use just the USB uh, power and if you do have the later board you're not going to be able to do that so just keep that in mind those are really the two major differences there are some other differences but those mostly have to do with ease of manufacture for an end user those are the two things you need to be worried about and if you don't know for a fact that you need either one of those then I'm going to probably say you don't need it and it's not necessarily worth the extra cost for that particular upgrade so speaking of cost uh, currently Ultima Machine for the version 1.3 uh, and it is currently October of 2014 and they are charging uh, in the neighborhood of $180 uh, for, a, for a Rambo board. Uh, on the other hand, RepRap Electro is selling this, including the shipping, for $119.95. So that is about a, uh, you know, it's about two-thirds, I'm sorry, it's about a third off, so you're paying about two-thirds of the price of the new one. So again, if you really know that you do need to have a weird power supply and or you're really worried about the USB thing and it's worth $60 to you that is not something that you feel you could spend somewhere else on your printer project, then, you know, 
that's the choice you got to make. Uh, but personally, I think you know having used the uh, Mental Max 2 for about 10 months and using um, you know, having used a later version of the Rambo board, I have never noticed, I, I, as far as I'm concerned, I have not ever actually used any of those additional features. So I think if I were building it again, and I was gonna be doing something very similar and sourcing my own parts, I would probably go for this board instead. Okay, now that we've talked about the uh, Rambo board a little bit, and talked about the differences between the different available versions and a little bit of the pricing of it, let's go ahead and compare the Rambo to uh, what has to be the industry standard and what any board's competition is going to be in the current version of the RepRap world, and that's going to be the Ramps 1.4. I have an example of that right here. And as you can see, the major differences um, right off the bat, like I, like I mentioned before, is uh, this is what I would call a modular design. We have an Arduino Mega clone at the bottom. There's a ramps board plugged into that. And into that, we have uh, a number of stepper motor controllers that are plugged into that. So we have essentially a modular design. You can uh, replace a stepper motor. You can replace the, um, the ramps board separately from replacing the rest of it. So one failure somewhere does not mean that the entire thing comes crashing down. Now, on the other hand, this is an older design. Uh, in order to get the functionality that you get out of the Rambo, you are gonna have to add some extra things. For example, if you wanna do full dual extrusion, you are probably gonna have to buy an extra stepper motor controller. Most of the uh, sets that I've seen come with four of them, and you would need the fifth one to run that second extruder. Uh, you're also not going to have as many inputs for thermistors if you really wanted to have a you know redundancy of your uh, uh, in your temperature gathering or you know for whatever reason there's just not as many options on the uh, on the ramps board and again it is a standard solid design it is a little bit older and uh, and the the Rambo certainly is based on lessons learned from the ramps. The other main difference, and this is one of my favorite differences, uh, is, and some of you, when I start to point, are gonna, there's gonna be a sinking feeling in your stomach, but I'm gonna point to these little adjustments right here, these little potentiometers on the stepper motor controllers that go on the ramps board. If you've ever had to adjust the current for one of your stepper motors and you've been messing around with this, I'll bet you you've been frustrated and you've had a headache. These things can really be a pain if you get out in the weeds and you don't have them quite adjusted right and you are trying to get them into adjustment. This is somewhere where the Rambo really shines. You will notice, taking a look at this board right here, there is actually no, um, there are no potentiometers on it anywhere. And the reason is that uh, the current for the stepper motors is adjusted digitally. You can open up a file in Marlin, which is your configuration.h.adv, which is your advanced configuration. And you can actually set these with a value between 0 to 255 to set the current for your stepper motors. That is really handy because you're not just spinning a potentiometer hoping that it's hitting the right, the right value, but you actually know what the value is and you can set that accordingly. Instead of just you know spinning it and not knowing exactly what you've set it to, you can set it to something very specific here. So overall, those are the main differences uh, between the Rambo uh, version 1.1b and the Rambo version 1.2 and later, and the between the Rambo board and the Ramps 1.4. As I mentioned, I have been um, I have been running one of these for a long time, and I think that uh, for you know future builds, this is something that I'm going to be very very carefully considering, uh, especially if I was doing something that involved dual extrusion. It's just going to be so nice to have this available right here. Uh, the fact that you can use so many different power supplies with it, either a 12 or 24, without having to worry about whether or not you've got the right uh, capacitors or anything. And most of the ramps boards, you can do that just fine, but there are some that are not quite set up for it. And you do have to be careful about it. But this one I know is going to is going to work just fine if I do have a, a different kind of power supply. I like that it does have the protection. I like that it's got all the features. I like that it does have the ability to modify the current in firmware. So overall, I have been really happy with this board. I'm really happy that RepRap Electro has, uh, has managed to put together a very high quality um, version of this board. If you look at the back here, and you saw my unboxing video, uh, I went over this a little bit here, but this is obviously something that's been done in a professional wave solder environment. This is not one of those cases where someone had all his friends over, bought a six pack of beer, and they had a solder party in the basement. This is, a, this is a, the real deal, folks. Uh, also, what else comes in the box? And again, if you saw the unboxing video, you've probably seen all this before, but there is this bag of connectors, and this has just about every connector you could possibly want. There's power connectors. It actually comes with some pre-wired end stops. It's got uh, the, uh, the adapter board is, all, is here if you want to put on an LCD adapter. I've been running mine with the full graphical LCD, and that actually is a very nice complement, I think, to the, Rambo, uh, to the Rambo board. So 
Uh, and I think actually even Ultima Machine, I think they uh, uh, offer that as an extra value added part, but it comes included for your 119.95 with the Rambo board. Oh yeah, one other thing I wanted to uh, talk about real briefly is uh, where does the Rambo sit price-wise in relation to the Ramps 1.4? And today I did a little bit of uh, cost comparison. I just checked a couple of my go-to sites on the internet, and I see that the price for a Ramps 1.4 as of October of 2014, runs between about $115 and about $130. And I think one of those had free shipping. So somewhere in that neck of the woods. So it really is uh, right around where you would expect, where the RepRap Electo price is for, uh, for the Rambo 1.1B. So overall, it is right in the thick of the competition price-wise and, uh, and is, I think, way ahead. Unless you need a couple of those extra features, or unless you need one or more of those couple little extra features that you get from the later model board, I think the RepRap Electro version offers a great, uh, a great way to economically get into a Rambo board that is just a little bit, um, you know, at just, just is missing a couple of those features. I've also been in touch with the RepRap Electro guys, and their plan is that once the, um, you know, they are eventually going to be offering the newer boards, but they need to sell through these first, which makes sense. And again, it's a, this is a great deal on a great board, and uh, if you are looking to source your own parts for a 3D printer, I think this is something you should take a good, hard look at. So uh, that's all I got to say on this. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time.